read and listen to academic articles and other material in your own language. Take notes about what you read and hear. Start out taking notes in your own language and then take notes in English. Summarize the points in complete English sentences. Ask your teacher to review your writing and help you correct your errors. Gradually decrease the time it takes you to read the material and write these summaries. Practice typing on a standard English keyboard. Because you know that in the TOEFL you actually have to write using the computer, so you have to be familiar with the keyboard. Number two, listen to recorded lectures in English. Practice finding the main points and taking notes. Stop the recording every 20 to 30 seconds and write down the main points. Replay the recording to check your notes and add information you may have missed. Use your notes to write out these ideas in four more complex English sentences. Three, learn important phrases that help you figure out what is happening. Determine who the source of the information is, the speaker, or someone else the speaker is talking about. Find out how the certain the information is, for example, might be versus is. So you're just getting used to the degree of certainty of the information that you're actually listening to or reading. Now, listen for words that indicate the main ideas being discussed. For example, point, maybe factor, maybe issue. Uh, the fourth suggestion is to practice writing grammatically correct sentences and use appropriate words to summarize information uh, from the reading material and the lecture material. So each week you should focus on a different aspect of English grammar. Complete grammatical exercises that reinforce your understanding of this. Record news broadcasts and informational programs in English from the radio or television. Practice listening or writing grammatical sentences about what you hear the newscasters say. Ask your teacher or a friend to review your work. Read factual informational articles in English. Underline the sentence structures and the words you are not familiar with. Ask your teacher or a friend to help you understand what they communicate. Number five, learn to pay attention to differing ideas about a topic and to find the similarities and the differences of opinions. Look at different articles about the same topic. For example, editorials in a newspaper. Make a list of the similarities and the differences of the opinions about that topic. Take a controversial cultural issue and write about how your culture understands it. Then compare your ideas with someone from another culture. Study expressions that are used to compare and contrast ideas. In contrast, on the other hand, however, but, although, similarly, or like. And that's how you improve some of your integrated writing skills. Now we need to take a look at the independent type writing skills, or essentially you're writing about uh, knowledge based on personal experience. Again, your score is 10, so we're in the limited uh, area. So let's take a look at some suggestions that ETS has here. Number one, practice writing daily. Keep a journal. Write your opinions about things that you experience or topics you're interested about. Start out writing in your own language. This will help you get used to writing and will build confidence in your writing ability. When you begin to feel more comfortable writing, keep a journal in English. Take a writing class. This will give you lots of writing practice and a teacher will show you ways to improve your writing. Find a pen pal or a writing buddy. Write email messages or letters to each other. Practice typing on a standard English keyboard. Two, pay attention to your grammar and sentence structure. Study the basics of English grammar and develop your vocabulary. Practice writing correct sentences in English. Begin by writing simple sentences. Make sure that each sentence has a subject and a verb and that the subject agrees with the verb. For example, the students like, the student likes, or the students like. Take two of your sentences and practice combining them. Reread what you wrote. Look for and correct mistakes. Now, this is important. You need to get in the habit of regularly combining your shorter sentences to create more complex structures. That, my fellow TOEFLer, is how you get a higher score in the speaking and writing sections. Number three, study the organization of good paragraphs or essays. A good paragraph discusses one main idea. 
this idea is usually written in the first sentence, which is called the topic sentence. Each paragraph should discuss one aspect of the main idea of the essay. Write paragraphs in English that focus on one main idea and contain several complete sentences that explain or support that idea. Ask your teacher to review your paragraphs for correctness. 4. Think about who will be reading your writing. In some situations, you need to write in a formal manner, and your sentence structure, vocabulary use, and general style should reflect that. The fifth suggestion, read a lot in English, and this will help you recognize good writing styles. Okay, now my, my next suggestion, which means in addition to doing some basic preparation to prepare you for the reading, listening, speaking, and writing sections of the test, once you feel you, you, you have some pretty good uh, English skills, you can also take some practice tests at ETS. And this is where I'm at right now in the video. Check this out. It says TOEFL IBT test preparation. It says ETS offers a variety of preparation and practice materials to help you do well on the TOEFL IBT test. These include free sample questions, practice tests, a CD with listening passages, and spoken answers, a multimedia program to help you with pronunciation and detailed tips and information for understanding more about the TOEFL IBT test. So if you scroll down here, you got uh, what's called TOEFL uh, Practice Online. You have the new official guide to the TOEFL test, third edition. You have pronunciation in English, the expanded version. You have idioms in English. You have writing in English. You have free test prep here. Uh, free TOEFL IBT test sample questions, uh, take the sample IBT test tour, and so on and so forth. You even have some test tips down here. A lot of the videos I do and the tips I get, I actually get them directly from ETS. The problem is a lot of students, maybe like yourself, you, you try to go to ETS and sometimes it's difficult to find the information. But it is here. Now my third suggestion to help you improve in your overall uh, TOEFL IBT skills obviously is, is to go to bettertoefelscores.com. You'll notice uh, I actually have some lessons right now, some inexpensively priced lessons to help build your TOEFL skills in seven different areas. This is why it's called the seven step system to pass a TOEFL test. So let's scroll down the screen take a look at this. So basically, uh, each of the steps center around vocabulary, pronunciation, grammar, listening, reading, writing, and speaking. These are the different areas, and you notice I've, I've started to post different lessons to help you in these areas, so this is my third suggestion. So once you've spent maybe three months following some of the suggestions from ETS, and you've built, you've built your TOEFL skills to where they're more advanced, and uh, and then you can take some practice tests from ETS to kind of see where you are. The third, the third thing you could do is actually to try some of these products I've developed to help increase your TOEFL test taking skills and strategies to help you put together a really good score on the TOEFL test. And there you have it. These are my three suggestions to help you improve in your overall English skills and also to help you get a higher score in the TOEFL in the not so distant future. Good luck.